when how is it worth it did it grow back once you're keloid former you're going to be a keloid former for life hey guys welcome back to my channel and i hope you guys are doing great today so for today's video is going to be a different this is going to be an update for one of my video which is my most uh, viewed video it is the ear piercing bump and i know you guys asking a lot a lot of questions and some of you get disappointed with the video because i didn't really show a lot of pictures and videos it's just because you know it's kind of like um what do you call that it is not the video that you usually go um upload online because there's blood on it and it's surgery i was really careful to post anything or include anything in that video it is more on talking i know one of you guys told me that it is like you talk a lot in the video <laughs> instead of showing pictures and the proof that it really works so here i am now and i'm going to discuss everything to you guys and a little recap on that video or a little summary on the first video so you guys will understand more about it okay so let's begin <laughs> all right you guys so i'm going to pull up some of the questions that really like um pop up on that video so that video is almost um uh, 13,000 views which is my most viewed video because all of my videos are like 100 views all right so it is um uh, for me it is a big deal like you guys really view that video you guys really watch that video and i love that also have 50 comments on that and majority of that are like not good <laughs> okay so um i'm going to the newest comment first of all i'm going to um, apologize for that guy that said um too much talking <laughs> all right i'm so sorry because um I didn't really realize that I'm talking a lot on that video instead of showing pictures and I know I'm really like amateur that time on video making on, on content making well majority of the questions are almost the same when how um, what and uh, how much <laughs> and also is it uh, really worth it one of the comments said um, tell me how much the surgery or the procedure and he she is really like worried about her uh, ear piercing bump she wants to get rid of it so how much so it really depends on where you are right now because here I'm here in the US and my my uh, dermatologist um, that did the surgery is under our insurance so I only really paid $200 or $250 for all the procedure including the um, radiation treatment if you are in the Philippines or in Asia I don't know if you have insurance just try to ask your doctor or your insurance company maybe they can help you a little bit um, all in all I think the procedure is not that expensive so I think with all without insurance here it will cost you like a thousand five hundred I am not sure about that but it kind of like in that range a thousand or a thousand five hundred or not really more than 2000 come on guys it's like all like small okay it depends on how what the size of your bump right but yeah it will not really cost you like more than two thousand dollars um in the philippines one uh, one lady um asked me like uh um how much is that i am not sure in that area or in that country um please ask your doctor about it or your insurance or maybe um you can save a lot of money um with your allowance or with your salary i don't know just save and if you really like really want to do it if it's really necessary it's really big and you're getting conscious or you can't function well well then um kind of try to to save a little bit for that all right so the other comment is having keloid since one year and it's little visible so what can i do in that case and the treatment so like what i said in the first video guys in that video i mentioned different treatment there's home remedy treatment and there is a steroid treatment and there's surgery treatment that i had home remedy treatment is more on oil so they kind of use a treat tea tree oil i guess um you can buy it in amazon or in any uh drugstore i think and uh, you can order it online the steroid treatment is like more on like how kind of big your your keloids or your bump if it's really like big big i think steroid is not good for you because that's what the doctor told me like i have like a really big bump like this is how it looks 
before 2020 I had my surgery so this is October this is before the surgery so look at how big that bump is that makes me really like conscious I have to uh, do something about it first doctor in my first video I mentioned that it was a ENT doctor because I thought it's like ears or ENT doctor I thought it's ears they're the one that's gonna treat this but no nope, um, I was wrong and they gave me a, a, a worst advice ever. The surgery which I had um, last December, 2020, that is really like worth it. So that's the third um, kind of thing that we can do or you can do. But of course, you have to ask your doctor about it. The next question is, after getting rid of keloid, can you wear earrings in that piercing bomb? So I answered this question actually. I guess, yes, you can do it. You have to be really careful not to get infected. That's the reason why keloid is forming because of the infection or trauma to the tissue. So yeah, so just be careful. If you want to go to professional, do the ear piercing. And make sure you clean it what happened in my ear because of the M MRI and I have to remove that earrings and I tried to put it back it's just because it's over here it is so hard to put it back I injured the tissue on that area that caused keloid you know they call it hypertrophy I guess the next question is <laughs> this is the guy that told me talking 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 <laughs> I'm sorry <laughs> Okay, so can I ask the traumatologist and how much do I pay? So like what I said, it is in this town where I live and the pay is, you know, it depends on the insurance. So I only paid 250 250 all right for all the procedures okay one of the comments said I think I messed up and I so disappointed in myself. I have keloid on my left ear and I had it for eight months and the doctor are taking longer to get back to me so Recently, I pierced my ear next to my keloid because it's not that big and now I'm scared I will get another keloid So yeah, so the doctor told me once you're keloid former, you're going to be a keloid former for life So I guess you just need to be careful and if you already have that bump in your ear I want another bump. Come on guys. <laughs> you need to be careful and get rid of the other bump first and try to put in the other ear and then you just need to be careful and clean it and don't put trauma on that ear so it will not form keloid. Alright so good luck on that. And then the last one I guess that I'm going to um, answer is how much it costs though. So it's more on like how much and then she said that I have two that I'm planning to get rid of and I'm losing my confidence. For me, that's a lot. Like I only have one, but it's like huge. So yeah. And uh, self-confidence, yeah, that's my main thing. I was losing it at that time. And uh, that's the reason why I get rid of it. I love this hairstyle. And then for a year, I can't do it because I keep seeing that bump there. Okay, so this is a question um, from the previous, previous comment. And I just remember this. Did it grow back? So that's what she is asking. I'm going to answer that because it is really important to um, let you know, guys, the process. I did a surgery and the doctor told me in that before even signing the consent is there is no 100% that is not going to grow back. So that what, that's what he said. But he told me that all this procedure is going to help the keloid. Everybody is different. Some patients have keloid grew back. Majority, you know, they stayed flat and, uh, you know, they're good. Um, in my case, guys, for I think three months or four months, I struggled in the healing process because I have to clean it and I can't see my husband is, you know, he's not that type of, of person that's going to clean wood. <laughs> But he helped me a lot and then um, of course after that healing process you will kind of feel like softness And then that is really scary for me because I feel like it's gonna grow back after that radiation treatment And then the following month I am this in observation phase that I keep like looking at it looking at it Is it growing? I keep asking my husband is it growing? But it is really not um, it stays flat guys. Um, I'm going to show you the video or picture in this video But I'm telling you that the radiation therapy is very important that radiation therapy will 
kill the cells in that keloid so it will not grow back so that is really important like if you're gonna cut it and then just don't do anything about it there's a possibility like high possibility that it's going to grow back if you will do the radiation therapy it is going to kill that cell in that area or in that specific area and that will help that the keloid will not go back to like what it looks like before all right the bump i'm going to zoom the camera guys so you will see the keloid right now okay all right so this is how it looks guys okay so this is the area here that they cut the bump here okay so there's nothing in there anymore and then so this is just a scar so the back is like that you see it's just the white scar here so that's my scar right now and it's really worth it i'm telling you guys that um my self-confidence you know it's back now and i can do everything now when it comes to my hairstyle and i'm not that like really conscious anymore so if you guys want to get rid of that just get rid of that that's going to make you happy then do it and if you don't have money or if you don't have insurance i mean you know just save for it like it is for yourself it is for your own good i mean it's for your well-being i guess so just save for it or ask anybody that can help you like insurance company or like clinic you know maybe they have like discounts or whatsoever that's gonna help you a lot but here in the united states they are covered with our insurance all right it always depends on doctor's diagnosis okay guys so i think that's it for today's video i hope you guys like it this is really like quick update of that video and just to answer majority of the questions in that video and i hope to see you guys next week please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet and hit that like button below if you end up liking this video please subscribe if you love my content and for more videos all right guys so i hope to see you guys next week please stay safe and god bless you all bye